Okay, I'm going to show you how to create a slideshow with iMovie for your semester DVD project. Um, if you have not added iMovie to the dock already, then you can simply search for it with Spotlight and just hit return and it will open. All right, when it opens, you probably don't have anything in it unless you've played with it a little bit already. So we've got the iMovie interface here. We've got the project library uh, library area. We've got the viewing area here on the top um, right. Lower left is event library, and this is primarily for videos. And then this lower uh, center section is for um, video. It's a video section as well. So you're mainly going to be using these uh, two top areas. Um, so um, it starts out by creating a, a blank project for you um, and you can go ahead and give it a title and I'm just going to call this digital art okay um, now before you add anything to it I suggest you go up to project properties and then set your aspect ratio ratio to widescreen if it's not already frame rate you can leave where it is um, transition duration you know that's currently at a half a second and that's fine you might want to bump that up to one second and then theme transition duration just leave that where it is I'm going to uh, ask that y'all not use a particular uh, theme um, although you're welcome to uh, and then uh, just leave it applies to all transitions uh, title fade transition uh, uh, title fade duration uh, you can leave that like it is that's adjustable later photo duration go ahead and bump that up to about six seconds initial photo placement now uh, you want to change this I would suggest fit in frame that way the entire photo will be viewable uh, and not get cropped off or anything if you choose Ken Burns that actually is like a pan uh, effect that pans over the picture and you're welcome to try that on some of them if you want to but fit in frame is what I tend to prefer that way I'm not losing any of the the picture and then click OK um, alright so we've got our blank project I'm just going to double click it here and then it tells us to add pictures so we just want to drag our pictures into this area um, and the first slideshow I'm going to make here quickly is going to assume that you have organized your pictures in iPhoto in an album. So over in the center bar here uh, on the right you've got different media buttons. Uh, the first one's for music and sound effects and the second one is for pictures. So I'm just going to click on that one and you can see this album here I've already created called Demo Picks and I've got 26 pictures in here. Uh, if you notice right off that the number of pictures is less than what you know you have in that album, then the picture did not have the .jpg on the end of it, or it was a Photoshop file. So we'll need to look at that and fix that. So let me know if your count here is not equal to the count that you saw in iPhoto. So I'm just going to... Uh, select all of these pictures so I'm just going to click in this blank space and then command A on the keyboard and I'm just going to grab and drag the pictures over and let them uh, be dropped into the project my digital art slideshow project that I've got going and depending on how many pictures you've got it'll take a, a few seconds so we'll just let that happen um, now the picture will come in and since we've already got um, the time set to six seconds for each picture with 26 pictures we're already at two minutes and 36 seconds for this particular slideshow um, the next thing we want to look at is adding transitions in between the pictures transitions are also located over next to where the picture icon is over on the middle right of the screen and it is the fourth button um, transitions okay so here you want to just pick a transition and drag it and drop it in between each picture and currently is set for one second that's pretty fast 
if I hit my space bar, I'm, I'm skimming along here and I can see the effect of the transition, but if I hit the space bar it will play and I'll actually see how it looks real time. If you want to increase the time of, of anything, this little blue box will allow you to adjust the transition. I'm going to actually make this 1.5 seconds, so just a little bit longer. Um, and I'm going to uncheck applies to all transitions because some I want might want longer than others. Click done. So now it should be a little bit slower transition. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Okay, so you'll want to pick different transitions and drop them in. Um, you can do you know a bunch of different ones or you can do the same one for everything. It's, it's really up to you. Um, let's say I do want to add a transition to everything. I can simply click, the, click this set theme button here that's at the top of the transitions and um, well you could pick a theme or you can just automatically add a transition over here. Uh, let's see I tend to like the cube so I'll go with that and it will automatically put a cube transition in between everything. Now you're welcome to go in and change those so you can just grab say a you know, spin out and drag it and drop it right on top of it it's going to say hey you, you've got these automatic transitions on you want to get rid of it just turn it off and then choose replace and then you've got a new transition there in between okay so I've got the pictures got the transitions now I need to look at um, music so that's the little music icon and I'm currently at 236 I want to get a song that's about 2 minutes and 36 seconds long so and you're welcome to cut the song off or adjust the length of the pictures to match a song if you do want it to match up so lots of songs let's see we'll go with uh, I don't know never can sound we'll go with uh, We'll go with the Pink Floyd song and I'll just drag it. I'm just dragging it and dropping it out here in this field. Okay, and all this green is my song. Uh, if I want to hear it, I can just, you know, hit space and it will play. I've got my sound turned off so you can't hear the music playing, but it is playing. Um, so there is my slideshow. Now I still want to add like a title screen which is nice. So go over here and click on the T and then I got all these different title screens that I can use. It's up to you. Um, you can drag and drop it directly on top of a picture and it'll drop it over the picture or you can drag it before a picture and you'll be presented um, Whoops! drag it before the picture well, Maybe not. I guess some, some of them you can, some of them you can. Let's try this one. Yeah, okay, this one I can drag beforehand and then choose one of these predefined backgrounds. But I tend to like the ones that go over the pictures. So I'm just going to grab this, drop it in, add my text. I'm going to call this digital art. And I'm going to put Rigsby uh, 2012 on the bottom of it. And then up in the top right click done or if you want to change the fonts you can click on show fonts and you get these different fonts that you can play with here okay I'm just going to keep the, the default alright and then click done so there is my title screen over my picture and uh, I can actually have it start a little bit earlier if I want by grabbing the beginning of the blue and dragging it out so that it actually begins just before the picture starts and then I can actually have it extend on into the second picture a little bit so that it fades away right after the second picture but you can play with that kind of stuff okay whoops sorry about that alright now let's look at a theme say you did want to choose just a theme um, you can choose set theme and pick say scrapbook for instance automatically have transitions that they they include and it will 
remove all that stuff we just did and apply the theme to it and it'll look very different and you're, you're welcome to try a theme like I said before um, so now when it gets done we've got this crazy theme applied and it's used the transitions and it it puts these different theme transitions in uh, in different places okay um, if you don't like it you can just um, undo um, the project properties it should go back to where we were before yeah okay so you've got this slideshow completed what you have to do when you're finished is go to share media browser and then you want to choose HD I would choose I'd go ahead and choose the 720p and not the 1080p and then you click publish and it's gonna finalize the, the slideshow to be used uh, as a video for the DVD project alright so you gotta publish when you're done don't forget to publish your slideshow when you're done now after you've published it if you make any changes you have to publish it again so the publishing thing should be the last thing you do for each slideshow. I will give you a quick look at what publishing looks like. Click publish and it's going to go through this preparing project stuff and this can take a while. Well wait a minute. So it's going to take about seven minutes here on, on my com computer. Um, depending on the transitions, depending on um, you know what you've got done here, this can take longer. I'm going to cancel that for now. Okay so that is uh, a, a slideshow. Now let's say that you want to do another one and for this one you have all of your pictures in a folder out on the desktop I'm just going to do new project um, and here we can decide you know no theme I'm gonna give it a title um, I'll just call this uh, uh, art oh um, this is some old stuff old digital okay and I do want to do widescreen again and I'm going to turn off that automatically add and then click create alright so we've, we've set our project properties and now I've got to get the pictures into iMovie so I'm going to click back on my picture tab over here in iMovie and then I want to grab right right here at the top of the pictures and pull down and then you can see um, iPhoto listed here you won't have aperture and then on my desktop I've got this folder called slideshow um, and I'm just going to drag it and drop it here and it will bring in those pictures that are out in the finder uh, into a new section called folders alright and I click on that and I've got 25 pictures in here and then you basically go through the same same thing you can grab that uh, go in here and select all, drag your pictures in, drop them, it'll add those stills, and um, and then you can begin to add um, everything to it. All right, you know, please ask questions, don't sit there lost, and uh, I'll be glad to help you. This has got to be all completed a uh, week before final exams, okay? So, um, I hope I covered enough for y'all to get rolling good.